Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't trust, don't look at my crazy face right now. As usual, Hannah's got creased lids. Hannah always has creased lids. Welcome back to another video. I'm in my dressing gown because we're going to be putting on some makeup and I just want to be chilled. I've got coffee with me. I've got some new makeup that I've just literally come through the door. So I thought, why don't we film a little like testing video? Colourpop as we love Colourpop, has recently collabed with a British YouTuber called Zoella. I don't even know, I don't even have to introduce her because I'm guessing everyone knows who she is. I personally have never watched Zoella's YouTube, um, so I don't know much about her. I do, I have watched her brother every now and then, um, if a video has come across, but I've never just had the instinct to, um, watch Zoella. So she did collab with Colourpop, which is really, really good and really, really exciting because Colourpop are an American brand, which is quite difficult get to get into the UK. But now this whole thing with adding taxes at checkout and no custom charge is a lot easier. Um, but luckily for me, I get PR by Colourpop. So thank you, Colourpop. If you're watching, you're probably never, um, probably never going to, but it, I just thought I'd say thank you anyway. So they did send me over three products to try from the brunch date collection. I think that's called with Zoella. So they did send me over the Zoella Colourpop Brunch Day Palette and the um, Soulmate Pressed Powder Cheek Blush and lastly which I find is super cute um, is the Lip Bundle so I'm going to be doing a little tutorial and review on these three products if you want to see what my thoughts are on the Zoella Brunch Day collection then please stay watch. I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette and um, this is what the eyeshadow looks like it comes with 12 shades it's a pressed powder palette it's um, brunch date it's cruelty free and it's made in the USA um if I open this up for you this is what the cheeky palette looks like I really really like the packaging I think it's very very cute very very chic it's very English in a sense like obviously it's British but very English I don't I don't know how to explain it but I know breakfast is everywhere but it just has a sort of British vibe to it in a sense the only thing I will say is if we go into the actual palette now this is what the palette looks oh, let me show you this way this is what the palette looks like. Um, this shade came broken, so I had to fix it with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to leave that. That's still drying, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm not a fan of the colour scheme. Like, I don't know if it's just me. I don't... I don't know, like, I think if you are into, like, if you're very basic and you're just starting out with eyeshadow, this will be for you if you just want your neutral tones and whatnot. But I don't really get the whole colour scheme. It matches nothing to do with brunch day. Like, it doesn't have any... When I saw this, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be like, you know, like, like a muted orange, a nice flush of pink, um, maybe like a nice brown, which they do have in here. But I don't know. I just think you can just create very, very similar looks with this. Um, I don't... I like the blue but I don't get the blue I don't understand what the point of the blue is because the only shade you like you've got a cool tone here and a warm tone so I'm just trying to think you can't I personally feel like warm tone and cool tones in the same look don't look right they look really muddy but um I just don't get like this blue it's beautiful don't it's royal blue don't get me wrong you could probably maybe only go with this shade here and this shade here I don't really know what are your thoughts what are your thoughts on the color scheme I think it could be better but I think it might be Zoella's type of color scheme might be very simple because I'm get I'm for me, I'm into colour, but that obviously I have to accept other people's preference, so I'm okay with this. And I know she doesn't really do the whole extravagant eye looks like I do, so I'm guessing this is probably very, very good for her and very, very good for her fans because the people that probably watch her very similar makeup to her. But yeah, I think it's a lovely palette, really, really nice shades, but I just don't think like cool and warm shades go together in the same palette. But I like that you do have cool and warm for everyone do you know what i mean so if you're not into warmer tones and you want more cooler tones you have that okay so first of all going into the brunch date is it brunch date yeah brunch date palette i'm gonna take the shade mimosa which is this like more of a transition shade right here mimosa it comes off on camera a little bit pinkish but it's more of like a a light brown more of like a transition brown but stupid me we haven't primed my lids what is going on Take that on a Morphe M573. I always tell you the brushes and the steps, just in case you personally want to create this look yourself. So I'm just going to take that on this brush. Okay, it picks up a lot of product. It comes off darker. Anyways, I'm just going to start to pack this onto the lid as I always do. Oh, okay, that's pigmented. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and then bring it in. And like I always do, I use a more fluffier brush at the start. And then I go in with a more detailed brush just to start actually making it more defined and 
starting to look better. Just, just going to start adding to the lid like so. The Morphe M506 and just pick on that colour. There is a little bit of fallout, I don't know if you can see, just a tiny bit, nothing much. And we're just going to start to build on this colour a bit more. I am finding, um, I am having to pack on quite a lot just to get this sort of blend, if you know what I mean, just to get this sort of colour payoff. I'm now going to go into, I'm going to now go into the shade of French Toast, which is a little bit deeper, well it is a lot deeper, because I don't really, what I would like in this palette is like a transition between these two shades. I'm just going to start to just blend this through, blend this through the crease I should say. So I want to blend through the crease first and then start to wing it out. This is going to be a very basic look, but, because I feel with this type of look, this is all you can sort of create. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to be finding that I could create like a really detailed look. But then I like that because you know when sometimes you don't want those all those colours to confuse you and you just want a very simple everyday eyeshadow look. I like that. Like it's not something, I think some people get confused sometimes thinking oh an eyeshadow palette needs to be this and needs to be so extravagant and needs to be bold like drag makeup D don't get me wrong i love drag makeup because that's my sort of thing however i don't feel like you always need to do that and which is sort of why i'm kind of liking this palette because if i want something a little bit more subtle this brown's really nice by the way um you can get that i'm now going to go in with the shade cinnamon sugar and i'm just going to pop this all over the lid um we don't want to do anything extravagant here people just something very very basic very very like Hannah um because I know this palette's very very simple so I want to give you more of a simple look now is my Sigma firmer shade at E57 I'm going to spritz it because when you use shimmers always spritz your brush you guys what eyeshadow brushes do you use to pack on shimmer because I need a new one that's what I need but anyways yeah I'm going to take the shade cinnamon sugar which is beautiful coppery shade I hope this picks up really really well because I'm thinking it's this brush that doesn't pick up shimmer very well but I don't know. Right, I'm just gonna pack this. Ooh. I like that, I like that. I love a good bronzy, coppery shimmer. Going in underneath. All right, we have got a little bit of fallout as we can see. Going with a different M506 brush, one that's a little bit more detailed. Different M506 brush, this one's more of a detailed one. And I'm first gonna take Mimosa again and bring this underneath the eye. Guys, I'm back. Um, if you're wondering why my lighting's changed, I'm really like, I think my ring light's broken. Like, I feel like my flipping ring light is broken. It started flickering, well not flickering, it dimmed a little bit. And then all of a sudden, uh, like it was still on, but it was hot, so I took it out because I was like, okay, I don't want to overheat it, whatnot. Left it for a while. Been trying to like turn it back on again and it won't turn on. So, and I've only had it a couple of months. That's so bad, isn't it? Go on to blush. I just quickly thought I'd apply a highlighter, but then I realised I've got to put blush on. This is the Zoella X ColourPop blush in soulmate i'm sorry about my lighting people i really so this is the lighting i used to have in my old videos um but yeah this is what the packaging looks like looks really cute um it's a pressed powder and this is what the blush it looks like this is in the shade soulmate and um, comes with a cute little mirror hello film on my iphone i know um yeah it comes with a cute little mirror and just pop this on that's cute Oh, I like that. That's really, really cute. Quite like the blush. Like I've always said to you guys, I'm not really a blush fan, but yeah. Now on to lips. Um, we have the lip bundle. This is in the shade Little One, so it comes with a ultra matte lip and a lippy pencil. So this is what the colour looks like. It's, I love it. I really, really like it. I think the lip liner matches. Yeah, the lip liner matches. Sort of like a mauve colour, like a muted nude mouth okay this is, ooh, this is a very very light shade 
I think it matches my lip colour. It's like ever so slightly the same colour. The matte lip. So hopefully that was really, really creamy. That went on really, really nicely. Now the matte lip, just gonna pop this on. The doe fits really small. That's like the smallest thing I've ever seen. It looks really, really watery though. Yeah, so this is very much a very baby pink shade. On camera, because my bloody lighting, it's not the same, but anywho. Okay, so the lips have dried down. This is a really, really nice formula. I really, really like the formula. This is the finished look. Um, I really do like the eyeshadow. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking overall, this is a pretty, pretty cute collection. Um, the eyeshadow palette's really, really nice. I'd probably recommend, if you're going to get anything from this collection, probably could get the, like, the liquid lipstick, because this is really, really nice shade. It goes really, really nice with the eyeshadow look. What do you guys think? Um, are you going to get it? What do you think? Um, I'm just giving you like my overall thoughts. I really do like it. The eyeshadow palette, surprisingly, I thought it wasn't going to be for, like my sort of thing, but I actually really, really like it. So yeah, I really did like the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette's formula was really, really nice. I really like that. Um, the blush is really cute. Like I'm not really a blush person, but I think even for me, I thought it was going to be a bit too pale or a bit too pink but it is perfect for me. And the liquid lipstick, I'm never normally into these shades, but I do like my lips to be a little bit darker. I still prefer it a little bit darker, but if I wanna go just on a natural glam, you could probably make a really, really natural glam look from these products. Um, I'm guessing they're not gonna be expensive because it's ColourPop. Uh, so you're probably gonna, I'd probably say like, I don't even know how much the eyeshadow palette and the rest of them cost, but it's probably not gonna be expensive. So if you wanna get your hands on it and you like this type of, type of look, then, yeah, this is very, very out there, but I'm, that's what my preference is. I've always been that type of, like, really out there eyeshadow look, but it's really, really beautiful. Um, I haven't even put highlighter in my inner corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Um, if you're new here, I would love if you could hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on when I post. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting went all funny. I'm really hoping, pray for me guys, that my ring light isn't broken. Oh. But anyways, yeah, I love all of you. I hope to see you in my next video and take care and see you... What? Um, take care and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!